Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Guys, we're in After Effects 2020, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of a person or an object from a video. It is magic. It is almost exactly like what you do in Photoshop with content to wear fill, for those of you that are Photoshop users, but now you can basically do this in video. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to show you how to do it in a few short minutes. Let's get right into this and skip and just roll. Okay, guys, so the first step here, I've got some video I downloaded, and it's just this guy sort of standing there like Indiana Jones with a camera and a black hat, so whatever. But anyways, um, Indiana Jones here in the middle, and we're going to get rid of him. This video I downloaded free off Pexels, so if you want to follow along, just search uh, whatever, and or just get any old video and follow along with me piece of cake. Next step here is I've made a composition out of it and I've made it about five seconds long and I'm gonna reduce it actually down to about three seconds because the reason why is this is a very computationally heavy duty uh, technique. It, it really makes your CPU and GPU and all that stuff really go into overdrive. Your computer will heat up so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this very very short so that it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do so I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna reduce it to three seconds here and then I'm just gonna go to composition trim comp to work area so we're working in about a three second uh, piece here now the next step here is you wanna make sure you're clicked on the video so you don't wanna be if you're clicked off of it you will you don't that won't work you wanna be clicked on the layer or on the video and then we're gonna draw a mask now normally I would just draw it with a pen tool but I'm going to draw a very very loose mask because I don't want to make I don't want to make this tutorial about drawing masks. This is a tutorial about this content aware technique. So let's just draw a very loose mask and this will show you exactly what you need to see and do, etc, etc. Very loose mask, guys. I drew it right at the end here because I wasn't thinking. So I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to take a look at that mask and I'm going to delete it because I shouldn't have done that. So Make sure your playhead's at the beginning. <laughs> you can draw it from the back, but I don't want to confuse you guys if you're new to After Effects. So playhead here at the beginning. Now we're going to draw that mask one more time. Again, it's a loose mask, and it's just going to be around him and something like that. I don't even know. It's not a big deal. Now, when you drop down the video, you drop down, you will see masks. You will see that it is set to add automatically. I'm going to set it to none because I want you guys to be able to see the whole thing as we go here. So, and we're at the, again, we're at zero seconds. We've drawn our original mask, or our initial mask. The next step here is you wanna make sure that the mask path stopwatch is clicked. Left click on that because this mask is going to move over time. So we're gonna to have to move a few points, eh, not a whole hell of a lot, but a little bit just to make sure that everything kinda of goes. So I'm gonna scrub through here. And again, you'll make sure that the stopwatch is selected. And then as we move forward, the guy's not moving a whole hell of a lot, but right about here, you know what? I think we can make a few quick adjustments. So the next step here is you'll still see that I've got the pen tool selected. This is also kind of unique and it's kind of weird because I would have assumed it wouldn't be this way. But you actually have to make sure that when you're about to change these points, you have to be on the actual top layer. If you're on the mask like this, it moves the mask in its entirety, so the whole thing moves. And that's not bad, right? Like, because that would work in this situation. So I'll just go ahead and do that. But in a few sec in a few split seconds here, like right about here, I'm gonna want to move individual points. So I'm gonna again, I'm gonna make sure that I'm selected on the upper layer or on the video layer. Now with the pen tool selected, I'm gonna just draw these a little bit out just to make sure that nothing, we don't have any nonsense and everything kind of gets contemplated. I'm gonna move the playhead forward a whole bunch. Everything's still within the mask. Okay, this isn't too bad. Let's see if anything else needs to move. Maybe this point here will go up in a second here, yeah. And then his arm starts to move, that's fine. And boom, okay, good. So we've got this mask, and again, if we click on it, you'll see as I scrub through, there's slight movement right there and the mask is around the object or the person that we want to delete. Now the next step guys is you want to go to make sure you're in the default uh, window and if you don't see that and if you don't see the default at the bottom right part of me you'll see content aware on the top right here so you'll see content aware fill but if you don't see that you want to go to window drop it down and make sure there's a check mark beside content aware fill. 
Wow, so many words, Curtis. <laughs> I'm sort of speeding this up, but again, I don't want to waste your guys' time. So, um, so now I'm going to open Content Aware Fill, and before I do anything, I'm going to go back to my mask path. And remember how we it was set to add? Well, then we set it to none. Well, now we want to set it to subtract because really we want to delete this dude, right? He's coming out. So he's coming out of the video, so we're deleting him. And I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And okay, there we go. So he's deleted. Now on the right side, again, at Content Aware Fill, you'll notice that I have the alpha expansion set to about six. This is not a necessity, but I like to give it a little bit of room on the edge just in case. Also, before we hit any, do anything, you will notice that there are three fill me methods, object, surface, and edge blend. Object does the trick in almost all cases. Uh, I will make some separate videos if you want to learn about the other two fill methods that aren't used all that much unless you're looking at like logos and stuff like that. And the last one here is range. You can either do a duration, so like if we only wanted to do one second, or we can do the whole work area. So let's just do the work area. Now here's the pivotal step. We're going to click generate, generate Fill Layer, and it's going to take a few seconds to render this. So I'll just do that speed up in post-production, then I'll join you. All right, here we go. All right, welcome back, and look at this, guys. You're going to see a few things. The most important one being that dude is gone. He has been deleted. And not only that, the background has been filled, and it's been filled very, very well. Now, a few things here. You're going to see here a fill layer. Now, this is basically just a set of images, right? As you can imagine, uh, we're doing 24 frames per second, for example, and we're three seconds long. That's 72 PNGs. So each frame has a replacement image if you want to, if you want to get right into, like the, into the deep stroke. So it's replaced an image. And now let's check a quick look at what the new version looks like. I'm going to click off everything. I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to hit space bar. And look at that. He is gone. You're going to see a little bit of movement, but that's okay because that was in the original shot, right? Because, uh, yeah, there was the grass and stuff like that. So with that one, one friggin' move, we have taken him out of the video, out of three seconds of video, guys. That is the power of content aware fill inside Adobe After Effects. It's amazing. If you're a wedding videographer and someone's in the shot and you got to take them out, try this out. This is the way to go, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I've got some more complex, well, more advanced tutorials coming up on a few of these other things. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.